Hey guys, so geomatics was the last paper in gate 2022 and I hope every one of you who are appeared for this paper did well. So this is a new paper which was introduced by IIT KGP this time and let us do a brief analysis of the paper in this video. I will tell you what can be the expected cutoff and what is the score you can expect and I will also highlight the questions which came in the paper. This is just memory based so far. So we can give you a better solution once the response sheet comes which is going to come in one or two days. Now let us directly jump ahead. First is the overall feel of the paper. Based on student responses so far what we are finding is the paper was completely in line with the expectations. Like there were not many surprises. So many students who chose the part B surveying maps and photogrammetry part they felt it was very easy compared to part A. Part A Part A probably had some tough questions especially from the mathematics and statistical part which is always slightly tricky to answer. And as expected the paper was highly theoretical. Even if you see in the model paper the paper was highly theoretical. So like you would know general aptitude is for 15 marks and part A which is your common syllabus. So that is for 55 marks. And the rest 30 marks is from your part B where you can choose either of the sections. So the amount of MSQs asked were higher if you had seen in our APCD full length test also we had asked you 5 to 6 MSQs. So MSQs are always slightly tricky and in this paper also about 9 to 10 MSQs were asked. So they asked questions on electromagnetic spectrum, they asked questions on reclassification in GAS and errors in DGPS and thermal image in remote sensing. So these are just a few questions I am telling. They also asked on MPV which is most probable value and this is a very common concept we have seen in the model paper also there were questions on this and if you come to the part B there were questions on principle of survey, tachometry, there were questions on maps also and there were easy questions on photogrammetry by like finding the number of images. So if you had taken our test or even gone through our process, you would have been able to answer these questions pretty easily. So now coming to the expected cutoff part. So here it is very difficult for me right now to make a prediction. So the main reason is that this being a first time paper, we do not have any past data. So for example, if you see for civil or if you see for mechanical, so the cutoff always lies between certain range. Like for civil, if you see it always lies between 27 to 30 marks and that never changes. So such data we do not have for geomatics. So it is really tough to predict. But if you want me to give a crude prediction. So we see that for papers less than 10,000 people. If 10,000 or very less number of people under 15,000 appear for the paper. We are seeing that the cutoff is very high. For example last year environmental science cutoff was like around 40 marks. And even if you see for geology. It is lying around like 35 and some 40 marks sometimes. The cutoff varies on two things. One is the average marks. Like they will find the average marks of everyone who appears for the paper and the standard deviation. They are going to add it and that will be your cutoff. Let us not go into the math part of it. Basically what you need to know is. So in such papers we are finding that the average marks is slightly higher. So similarly for geomatics also. We, will, we can expect the cutoff to be slightly higher this time. Out of the 65 questions, definitely the 20, 30, 20 to 30 questions can be answered by most of people which is what makes the average high and that is what can make the cutoff also high. So we can expect the cutoff to be around 33 to 37. This is a very crude prediction and for, this is for general category and for OBC you just multiply it by 0.9 and for ACHT you multiply it by 0.67 and for EWS it will be same as the general category. Once we get the response sheet out and the answer key so then we will know how students have scored and we will also have the rank predictor running and then we can give you better data on what would be the cut off. So this is for the excited students you can always wait till March and find the actual result itself. And coming to the expected score. So in such papers you should always focus on your gate score because whenever you are going to apply for MTEP you are going to be compared with other branches because they are going to allow two to three branches and score is what they are going to compare. 
For example, the 100th rank in environmental science, which is written by less number of people, will have a score of around 720 because the cutoff was high. But the same 100th rank in civil will have a score of 850. So it is not comparable at all. This time what we are expecting is, so around if you are scoring like 60 to 65 marks, you can expect a 700 plus score because we are thinking that the cutoff will be slightly high. If you have, if you want a score of 800 plus, then you might have to score above 70 or 75 marks. And once we know the data from different students, what exactly they have scored, we will be able to predict better. So we will have the rank predictor also coming soon once the response sheet is out. So coming to the special announcement, the top five students of EPCD who come top in gate, will be hugely rewarded and also if you come in the top 500 rank or so and you are going to appear for mtech interviews we will be able to help you with it you will get the interview course for free and that is all for now do let me know what all questions they asked in the paper and how you felt about it and once the response sheet come let's discuss these questions